Do you have bricks for hands? Can't catch a cold? Are you sore from drop passes at practice and having to do push-ups? Then you need to watch this video right now. Five all new football catching drills for all levels. Let's get it, SDMT! Grinders only. Make sure you subscribe and check out my other training videos. And remember, the grind comes before the shine. SDMT! Let's get it. All right, we're going to explode out at that cone. We're going to break down, change directions, and minimal steps. Snap that out. Drop those hips. Flip that head around quickly. React to the tennis ball. It's going to be great for your hand-eye coordination. We're going to some release footwork right here with a jab. In and out on the rings. That's going to help you release. Okay, we're going to explode out into a vertical go route. Okay, it's a great drill. You get two dynamic catches in and one drill. Over the shoulder. You want those pinkies tight. You're going to locate that ball, look it all the way in, all right? This is a great drill. As a young, skilled player, receiver, DB, running back, you want to get as many dynamic catches as you can in. Quick, 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 quick. Good, 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 good. There you go. Let's get it. This is a great drill. You can do anywhere in your house. Outside in your backyard, we're going to start off by moving our feet in and out of that ring, all right? You see a golf ball coming at them. The smaller the, the ball, the more it challenges your vision, okay? Then we go to a tennis ball, moving those feet in and out of those rings, working on a coordination at the same time as catching that ball with our nice, tight hands, focusing on that nice, tight technique, catching technique, so you guys can catch that ball, all right? This is a great dynamic catching drill. There you go. Good. There you go. Good job. Good drill. There you go. Good job. Good job. Good job. Oh, good catch. Yeah, I see. You should have the video on right there. This is a great dynamic catching drill. You're going to get out. Hand over technique. Get that nice tight hands right there. Those index fingers and that thumb nice and tight on both hands. Here we go again. Nice tight catch. Lick that ball all the way in. The smaller the ball, the more it challenges your hand-eye coordination, the more it challenges your vision. Okay, so that's why tennis balls and golf balls are great to improve your catching technique, okay, and your vision. All right, we're bursting laterally. We finish with the football. Boom, nice good catch. Secure it and finish the drill. Let's get it. Now, this is a great drill for over the shoulder catching. All right, this is a great drill so you can work on identifying the ball, tracking it, and getting those hands nice and close. When we catch the ball over our shoulder, we want our pinkies nice and tight. You can hear in the previous videos, I have to keep reminding him, he's a young player, to have tight pinkies, tight hands. A lot of times, if you try to catch those hands wide, it's like trying to catch an uh, M&M with some chopsticks, okay? It's gonna go right to your arms. A lot of easy catches. So we want those pinkies nice and tight so you, got, you can locate that ball and catch it, all right? Here we go. So. The way I'm doing this is he's pumping his arms, working his arm pump. I throw the ball, and then I yell ball. He has to react quickly and get his hands together and make the catch. Now, this is a tough drill. Um, beginners should take their time, but this is definitely a drill to help you 
catching those over the shoulder deep balls okay so definitely put that work in working your technique tight pinkies tight fundamentals okay put that work in and this drill will definitely have you catching those over the shoulder bombs Set and go. Good. Set and go. Here we go. This is a great drill. As an athlete, we got to have a strong core. We got to work those abs. And at the same sense, we need to catch a lot of balls as a skilled player. So let's combine those two things. We're working our sit up and working on catching small balls again. We got tennis balls. We got golf balls. Working on our vision at the same time is improving our core. Okay. That's the awesome benefit of this one right here. We're working our eyes, our eyesight, working our hand, hand eye coordination, our catching, getting our core in. So if you definitely don't have a bench, you can do this on the ground with put something heavy to hold your feet down. Um, some people do sit ups without uh, having any pressure on their feet. But, um, you know, you can modify this for yourself. OK, so you can do this with or without a bench. A lot of times people see drills and they want to make excuses. I don't have this or I don't have that. You can do this on the grass. You can do this in, on the ground in your house. You can have one of your friends hold your legs down. No excuses. You got to grind. Grind. Wait.